Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Frambo. Now, last episode, we were in a house and we had to do some ritual for some fucked up twin sisters that were conjoined. Well, they were conjoined by some kind of spell, I believe, and they wanted a ritual to get out of that. But we said, fuck you, and we basically sent them sky high into wherever they went. They probably went to hell. Anyway, we rode on this toad's back. We are at some new place. Here we go. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty! Well, now it's time to go home! I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad! Thank you! You too! Farewell! Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride! And he just disappeared into the ground, or into the water. Fran! What should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty! Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. I don't know why I gave Mr. Kitty that voice, that accent that I gave him, but you know what? Fuck it. We're going to roll with it because we're badass, okay? And you know what else is badass? Fran walking over this thing. Oh, dear. This bridge looks pretty scary. Okay, I spoke too soon. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. What the fuck is he doing? Is he licking his own catty balls? What the fuck are you doing? Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. He's all talking to me and then he's licking his own gooch? How dare you? Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Watch, he's gonna fall. No? Okay, Mr. Kitty, I see you. Mr. Midnight, with your big and bad self. What are you doing up there, crows? Flapping like that, thinking you're big and bad. It's a long ass bridge or whatever the fuck it is. What's up, Mr. Kitty? What are you doing? Fran, wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the fuck out of me. Not gonna lie, I jumped like a little pussy. Thanks, asshole. Appreciate it. God, why are like demons so assholish? Oh, my dear. Oh, shit, that's Fran. <laughs> oh, my dear. I can't hold it anymore! I don't want to die! You won't die, my friend! Come on! You can do it! Jump! Alright, here I go! Her eyes are bleeding. I got you! But you have no thumbs though! Oh shit! Okay! Fran! No! Freaking Mr. Min- Oh shit! Mr. Midnight! That's what best friends do! One guy jumps off, and the other person says, Okay, I got you fam, I'm gonna jump off too. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Wait, who's that? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. And where the fuck is the rest of your body? All I see is your arm. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace. Why won't you just take me out of here, please? And give me, like, some tissue. My eyes are freaking bleeding! You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. And she went ghost on him. She was just like, Peace! Aunt Grace, no! Don't go, please! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Hello! Fran, it's time for your new medicine! No, I'm not taking that shit! She's like, nah fam, I'm good. Oh, whoa. Red vines. Here we go. Why? Why was that a thing? Mr. Midnight? You okay, bro? And am I naked? Because my clothes are here. Oh, what happened? Oh, wait, are we Mr. Midnight? Where am I? Fran? Where are you? Oh, shit, we're Mr. Midnight. Let's fucking go! Oh, this shit's gonna be too sick. I'm a cat. I'm a black cat, baby. Fran, shoo. And her shirt. You didn't mention that, though. These are Fran's stockings! One of Fran's shoes! What a strange shape! What is it? 
I don't know, bro. Where are we going, though? How do we get out of here? How am I getting out of here? Mr. Midnight, what are you doing? You strutting your stuff? With your big and bad self? Ah! What an ugly tree! I scratch you, evil thing! Kitty? Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran? My darling? Is that you? It can't be! What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran? You are a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up! Uh, I can't pick you up. You're a freaking tree! Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree! Yeah, look at that. She's a freaking tree, guys. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me, how is Mr. Midnight going to know if you're going to die? Think, Fran. Think. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Okay, I'll figure something. Whoa, what the fuck? Honga, hiknik muhala, kulke kulke hindrama, pas kula la le, hiknik la la, hente. Hey, don't poke Fran like that. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Stop it! I scratch you! What are they saying? Oh my kitty! Why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Yes, yeah, stop it! You little turnip carrot looking bitch! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please! Maybe I can do something about this! I'll see what I can do, Fran! I'll see what I can do, Fran. Yes, her purse. Let's see here. Okay. Puzzles galore. Oh, there we go. There's the purse. Oh. No. All right, you're going to cock block me from getting to the purse. I see you. I see you, bro. Okay. Let's see here. Just keep turning and then... Ah. How am I going to get there? I see my friend's purse. I have to reach it somehow. Ah. Huh. I refuse to expose my beautiful and soft fur to the- Shut up! Shut up, Mr. Midnight. Excuses, excuses, okay? So, we can not make it there because it keeps winding back. Alright, let's see here. Let's ask this guy what's up. An old vegetable sitting on the boat. Yeah, like, how the fuck did that happen? These are friends talkings. Ah, uh, how am I gonna get it to stand still? Okay, let me just start clicking shit. Oh dear, I hope you find the purse already. I can't reach it. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why? Why not? Oh dear, do something! There's a bridge, and lots of water, and the bridge won't work as needed. Huh? That's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. We'll do something so they won't roll on back then! And Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Can Mr. Midnight pick up stuff? Or do I just have to use, like, my Kitty superpowers? Okay, okay, okay. Jay is gonna figure this out. Dear. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. There we go. Okay. Let's put it in here after we do this. Come on. Use the stone. Use the crystal with this. There we go. Perfect. Holla at your boy. I got the purse. 
only because I'm the best, okay? No need to get cocky, Mr. Midnight. That's my job. I'm the cocky guy here. Let's give the purse. Look at how cute Mr. Midnight is, by the way. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay. Show the picture to this guy. Anna Nehaka Ah Ruma Paskerota. Oh no. The fuck? Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Oh shit. What is he gonna do with you? Hey, bro, bro. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Okaroma hippo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galopma, galopma. There we go. Now we just flew away in a boat. What the fuck? A boat airplane, guys. Now I've seen it all. I thought this game was weird, but now we got freaking boat airplanes. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. Vegetative State. <laughs> Badoom. I get it. Very, very punny. Very, very punny. See how hard I'm laughing, guys, at that punniness? Welcome, creature. My name is Zyle. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally! Words I understand! My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Don't blow that shit in my face. You don't know me. Nice one. Hmm. Let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can see all that? Why does everyone know me? You can see all that? Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. Oh, he said shut your ass up. I can see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. I think he's talking about the pills. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. Then where am I supposed to be? That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Can you help me, please? Anybody? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. Then why the fuck did you bring me here? There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist? Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Okay, this motherfucker is trying to be too deep now. Just tell me how I'm gonna get out of here, buddy. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Help me get back home, please. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithirsta. 
Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Okay, Mr. Midnight is going all up in that ass. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me! There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Then what good are ya? Only the great wizard can do that. Is his name Oz? But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. I'm not gonna learn this ooga booga booga shit, okay? But how will I ever un... But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, fuck no. What in the... What? That shit went straight to my mouth. Ugh. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. And plus, she doesn't even know how to read. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand run fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. Okay, personally, I'm afraid of heights. I get bad anxiety whenever I'm at a high place. So, you know what? We're going to be relatable. A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? And who the fuck is that? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Oh, God. Get away from me, you creepy fuck. Holy shit. If I saw that in person, I'd die on the spot. Rest in peace to me. My God. Look like a beetle or something. Either way, scary as shit. Thanks, asshole. What is this? Who is that? Good day. My name is Palantros, and I'm your doctor today. At your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, human? I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Okay. Whee! <laughs> that looks nice. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. When do we start? Great Volokas? I don't give a shit about the Volokas, okay? When do we start? So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh right, we'll wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, hmm, so who is this Volokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. 
He felt so badly. His heart was broken. He was all alone. <laughs> this fucking voice that I'm doing for this guy. What in the world? <laughs> but he came to Ethersta. And his blood made this water pink. <laughs> that is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. I'm having way too much fun doing these voices. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And how is that you are here? What brought you to Ethersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes! Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Palantris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Ethersta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be dated. And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Okay, that's racist. Can't see this happen again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Yes! What's the point of this chit-chat? Give me my arms and legs. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fred her arms and legs. Yes, bitch! Give me my arms and legs! How do you feel, friend, from Ethersta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. And you are fluffy and beautiful! I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn. But he was an evil old man! An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Yay! We get to go back on a ride! Oh man, doing these voices is exhausting. <laughs> but they're fun as hell to do. Here we are again. Show Zara the king what a nice erythrostenize. What the fuck? You've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Later, alligator. You fluffy kitty. Oh, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great if thirstiness you become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> You haven't even gone outside this castle, and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. 
The Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain Cotrum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Because I'm a lazy bitch! Nah, that's not what he said. But that's probably the reality of it. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a grady thirst today, and good luck finding the Grey Wizard. Hey, it's our doctor friend again. Oh shit, he left. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Palantras, he fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Thanks, bro. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about the mountain too. Yes, Mountain Cotrum. The great wizard lives there. Let's go! Yes! Okay, finally some action! The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. Well, can we sit on there? Can we check for ourselves? No? Alright. Can we do something here? Hello! Hello! I'm the king of the world! And we're not gonna do that. Let's explore this place. Oh, God, it's this guy. No, no. You can't get in. It's closed. I didn't know. What's behind this? Like, he's gonna tell me, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna ask anyway. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course. But it's closed. Come back and follow Winter. Then, it will be open. Hey. Aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hehe, <laughs> yes. But well, why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ethersta, we open. Okay. Thanks for telling me all this valuable information. Bye-bye now. Take it easy, broski. Let's see here. It almost feels like I could fly, but you can't. So don't even try it. Don't try this at home, kids. What's this thing? Huh, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Really, Fran? Say hello to a flag. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just stand here, you see? Ah, uh, let's go. Later. Let's check what's around the town. Bring it around town. Nice. Okay. Let's go this way. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Oh, it sounds like something broke. Huh, what did I do? No. Nope. Did I do anything? Nope. Okay, uh, let's go left. And there's a guy. What's up, dude? Huh, I would like to borrow that boat. Then ask him for it. Be like, hey! Let me buy your boat, bro! Come on, bro! We'll go, we'll go right. Hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? I do like lemons. But Fran doesn't, I guess, because uh, it's too sour. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside, too. So we can fly. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. Sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Oh, a basket. It's empty. Hmm. Let's, uh, check the tree. 
I recognize this kind of tree. Aunt Grace had one at home. Uh, we can't pick anything here. One thing I learned about this game is that anywhere you click could be an item. Like, there's always something hiding in any part of the game. Oh, this flower looks like it'll be waiting to bloom. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's a bar, right? That's the bar that Grasshopper was going to? Let's go upstairs. Or up the hill. This mountaintop is very high. Because it's the top. Eh. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna go back down. Let's see here. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. Eh. Go to the right. I don't know what I'm supposed to... Whoa, okay. Oh, wow. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are Vanokas. Oh, you are very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Vanokas will receive the shield. Ungaba, blah, 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 blah. Yay! Congratulations! Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the sea. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Well, thanks. That was really cold. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. Yes, kitty. You're right. Yeah, don't be sad. Mr. Midnight is awesome. Oh, this moves the arms of the Volucus. Incredible. Huh. Okay. Oh. I heard something. Or was that just the sound effect? Do I go here? No? Whoa, what a huge Valakas. It's not real, though. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with the arms? Nope. Okay, we'll come back. We'll figure it out. We have nothing really in our purse. What's this? What the hell? Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, he's going over here. Let's meet him over here. What? Okay, never mind. Where are we going, guys? I'm lost. Let's go down here. Oh, wait. This is where the boat is, right? No! It's a town! Fuck yeah! It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Thank you, sir. Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. Can we talk to this guy? Nope. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kind of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam! I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, let's keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. Thanks, bro. Hello. Uh, who's there? Who? Me, Fran. Can't you see me? Now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? I don't... Uh, what are you selling? Only the very best plabas on this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Smell some plabas? What the fuck? That sounds dirty. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, 
I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Ew. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plabus. Bye. Mm. Let's talk to this guy. What are you doing? Huh, working on my clock. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks and I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Uh, do you know where the mountain Cotrim is? The mountain Cotrim only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. All right, guys. Sorry about that. The game crashed, but we are back. I am talking to this ant, and this ant is asking me if I want to read the newspaper. But I can't read! I can't read! Eat thirst? Uh, hmm. What is Eat Thirst's language called? Don't you know? It's called Eat Thirstnish. Are you a tourist? What the fuck is Eat Thirstnish? Hehe, <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Well, I'm a Fran. What's up, baby? Welcome to Eat Thirsta. I hope you have some fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Okay, these people were all useless. Actually, what about this caterpillar thing? Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Mission to go home? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Eat Thirsta are you? Okay, I'm not from Eat Thirsta. Get your facts straight, baby girl. Oh, human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See ya. Later! Okay, let's talk to this snail playing chess by himself. Hello! Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me! I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yes, yeah, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Let's do it! Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. All right, let's do it. Oh. It's my turn? Okay, let's put, uh, this over here. Ah, I see where you're going. Not today, sucker! Ah, oh, damn it, he knew my plan too. Ah, oh, fuck. Now none of us are gonna win. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to play again. Okay. Do it again. You again? Son of a bitch! Put it in the middle because that's always the best thing to do in a game of tic-tac-toe. Boom. Ah, ass wipe. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to win this shit? Okay, I gotta go first in order to win. Thank you. Here. And shit. There we go. I win. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're good. I got a gold coin. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Thank you. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water. But instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Eurasthenes. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Hello, little root. You are so cute. No lie. The root is low-key cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm Fran. And you? 
Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one or two. One and two or three. Two and three or five. That song sucks. And three. Okay, okay. That sucks. I learned that at school. It's fun. Well, that song is horrible. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. These must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. Why can't I have one, sir? I want a boat. Ah. What are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Let's try putting this coin inside of this clock over here. Maybe that'll do something. So let's examine it first. I have one golden coin. Let's use it on the clock tree. This won't work. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, guys. I think I've explored the whole town right now. And I might have to end this episode here, and then we can continue on next time. Because I know there was a shitload of talking in this episode. But next episode, we should be gearing up for some action on how we're going to go about this level. So if you guys want to see more episodes of Franbo, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!